I mean, who would have thought, you know, in Malaysia, of all places, in the middle of nowhere, in a small factory warehouse, you know, some of the most beautiful instruments in the world are being made. What is a true artist, you know? True artists, they dedicate their entire lives to creation, to expression. An artist has to have a strong sense of aesthetics, pay attention to the finest intricacies and be a complete visionary and a master of their skill and their craft. You know, as as anyone would, I was I was skeptical. You know, uh, made in Malaysia, you know, unknown luthier uh, to me at the time, um, and I never heard of you know the wood that he uses. You know, um, this uh, monkey pod. You know, but um, the first time I tried a Jeffrey Young, I mean, I was completely blown away. I mean, just the sound was just phenomenal. First thing that hit me was, you know, the bass, you know, it, it had this, you know, phenomenal, punchy, big, ballsy bass. But at the same time, very beautiful, you know, rich harmonic overtones in, 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 the, in the higher registers. I had, I had never heard anything like it till, till that point. But it was gorgeous. I mean, the highest quality instrument, you know, completely built by master's hands just for you. You know, I mean, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's just, it's a work of art, you know. You know, the wood that he uses is, is, is so different, you know. Uh, and the way he, he tunes it and he, he braces it, he's doing something really, really different because I had never heard anything like it. So I checked out his, his website and, um, you know, the price on the guitars were just way, way too much for me. Um, so I emailed Jeffrey and I, I asked if I could do the uh, building course. Oh, when he came in, the time he was like, still a schoolboy. <laughs> you know? And uh, what, what impressed me is when he played the guitar, I said, wow, this guy is really something, man. You know, I've never seen people play like this. For me, I was a teenager, you know, starting out fingerstyle guitar. And um, I didn't really know much about the acoustic guitar. And I uh, always behind my mind, this guy soon is going to be somebody someday. So that is the thing that inspired me actually in all my in instruments that I built for soon. So we began the journey and we talked a lot about what kind of sound he want and the style that he plays. You know, it was, it was so much fun. He would take me out to breakfast every morning, share with me all his philosophies on life and and, and guitar making. Because you know, before he, he won the uh, blind test at this very prestigious guitar convention, um, this this wood um, monkey pod was not generally accepted by other guitar makers as a, as a tone wood because it was, you know, non-traditional. But you know, he, he just compares it to cuisine, you know, it's, there's no wrong, it's just different. Now look at the food we eat, it's so rich, so many varieties of uh, combination of different spices, right? And uh, compared to a McDonald's burger, the guitar is generally uh, uh, started from there. Of course, they will use the material that is found, like always be said, behind the house, right? yeah. you know? They must use either spruce or cedar. Right, yeah. So as the years pass, they become one of the accepted wood. Uh, you know? That's what they call traditional wood. But of course in those days they have no they have no idea about wood found in Malaysia, right? The material use is very, very uh, controversial in a, in a way that like for example, you eat this kind of food is oh you know, so some people are like, wow, what are you <laughs> eating, like, man? You know? <laughs> for a very long time, Jeffrey um was you know almost shunned by the uh, guitar building community because of the woods that he used because they were too different. Sometimes I find it's a very uh, ridiculous kind of uh, uh, attitude, right? When you don't like it, you say, "Oh, this is no good." You must dare to try. 
uh, why I need to import burger from uh, uh, yeah. America or Australia beef or uh, whatever. Uh, we have plenty of food here. Yeah. It's not really like you can write uh, 12 volumes uh, about, about me. You know? The instrument is such a simple instrument and the world has made it such a big deal with big advertisement, all the things writing about this like, is like a rocket, no? Right? Actually, it's just an instrument, you know? It's like art. A piece of paper is a paper. So a painter will paint the beautiful art. It's on it with all the kind of rocket science. You know, what really impressed me was that, you know, it was all built from, from scratch, from, from the start. He even makes his own tools and, um, you know, and jigs and even, you know, cuts the uh, lumber, you know, he cuts the tree down himself. Most of us, this uh, mill, they only uh, process the timber that are popular. They have commercial value. So I, I buy my own chainsaw, I buy my own, you know, bandsaw. So I start cutting those wood that I find that is very interesting. And this wood actually, all around us, they are planted in the roadside, you know. These are all huge trees. And this tree has been planted for 100 old years. But now, because of development, when they need to widen the road or some construction, they just cut the tree and dispose it. And these are the trees that I found that have a lot of characteristics, a lot of special, uh, like the grain are beautiful, the sound is beautiful, and uh, it's, not, it's not harming the nature because when they cut it down, they're supposed to dispose it. So actually, I'm doing them a favor by recycling. Recycling the wood. Oh, I'm not a master. Every day I'm trying to do something new and improve myself. So, to reach the master level, to me, I just go along. I built a lot of my instruments all on my own uh, inspiration. So it's not like, oh, I have to finish this by today or tomorrow I'm going to do the next part. So we, have, we select the wood and then dry. after drying, we mesh them up. When I make my guitar, I want to... I, maybe today I, I, I bend the sides okay? and I put it there. All right, we put the bracing, the curving, And then the next day or maybe after a week, I'll do the inlays. First thing, I try to use natural product. This is our local wood called Rengas. Right, this, this is very tricky, so, and it's red color. Now I'm gonna sh shape it like a leaf. So first I have to get a block, okay, cut it, and then book match it with a grain, facing this way. I'm gonna shape it, rough shape. Alright, Sean, there we are. Yeah. So this is the end result. And I create my inlays like art. So the branches is uh, from this lace wood. It looks like a natural branch. To me, the important thing about instrument is the sound. Good sound and good playing, right? That it inspire the musician. Most important is you must inspire the artist to produce more beautiful music. It's not that your guitar is like a Ferrari, you know, one point five million dollar. So what? If it doesn't sound good or it doesn't play good. I don't think things like fame is of any interest to people like Jeffrey, you know. Um, as far as I know, all he wants to continue to do is to keep to keep going at it. He's just striving to be better every day, you know, only competing with himself, pushing boundaries and, and staying true to who he is, you know. And, and those are uh, easy things to forget, you know, and, and for the level that, that, that he makes his guitars at, you know, to, to stay that humble, I think it's, just, it's a very, very special rare thing.